Half-Life 1 came out about 22 years ago, and yet there's still a pretty sizable mapping community for it. Uh, maps are still coming out every single year, and there are mods in development. Why is this happening? I have no fucking clue, the game sucks. Well, a lot of them are Russians, or people from third world countries. Just fans, whether young or old, and they're still working on maps and mods. I'm working on a mod myself, and have released multiple Gold Source Engine maps. Half-Life 2 and Global Offensive still have huge communities of people willing to play your maps, but those are Source Engine games. For Gold Source, it's hard to find a decently full Half-Life Deathmatch server, and the Counter-Strike servers are full of the French, and the Team Fortress Classic servers tend to be pretty empty. So why the hell do people map for this shit? Answer, because it's fun. Because you can just sit down and make something look pretty good with minimal effort. Check this out, I'm just using CG textures to grab some random textures online and I'm making a basic piece of shit room. Look at it. It sucks, but imagine if I actually put effort into it. It would look pretty good. Meanwhile, in the Source Engine, textures require extra files and lines of code and bump maps and cube maps and all this fucking horse shit. And even then, you've got all these props and, hell, making props is pretty hard. That's why Valve reuses them in every single Source game. Valve even reused maps when it was convenient for them. You have to learn how to 3D model shit, which means learning how to use Blender or 3DS Max, then download the tools you need to export the SMD, and then compile it, and then tell the game how much it weighs and how it works as a physics object. It's a mess, and it's not a whole lot of fun to actually go in and make this stuff. But when you combine all that effort together, you get some really cool stuff. I mean, look at these CSGO maps. Most of them were made by, like, two people. But let's say you don't know how to 3D model and you're not obsessive compulsive enough to bring everything up to this level of quality. Then you get stuff that looks like this. Sucks. So I think that's why people still prefer to map for Gold Source, you know? The game is fun, the assets are all nicely laid out for you, it's easy to mod, there's tons of different tools out there that give you a lot more room to be creative, and it's a good start for learning the principles of mapping and level design. You can open up the editor and have something that looks really nice over the course of just a couple of hours. And if you're a psycho sadomasochist, you can spend 10 fucking years of your life working on one goddamn Half-Life mod. Can't be bothered. There are a lot of different communities to join and share your work with as well. I've been a long time card carrying member of the whole Half-Life and they can be pretty good, but most of the activity these days happens in their Discord. There's Run Shoot Think There's Run There's Run Shoot Think Live, there's Half-Life Creations, there's a lot of Russian sites. Odds are if you throw your mod up on mod database, you'll get attention for it. Mostly good attention, even if it's your first project and you have no fucking clue what you're doing. So here's where I come in. Uh, I noticed there's not a lot of YouTube videos for mapping for Half-Life 1. There's Planet Phillips' two hour long video of him using tools that are now outdated. There's Rolling Barrel, but he's only got a few videos and they're also using tools that are now outdated. Yeah, Half-Life tools are still getting updates from the community and the current tools for gold source mapping probably work way better than the current tools for source. Getting into source mapping now can be a nightmare and compared to Half-Life today, and that wasn't always the case, so that's good. But yeah, I think there's not a whole lot of video mapping tutorials and that's a bit of a shame. I don't know if I'm the the most qualified person to do it because to be honest I've been a pretty haphazard mapper in my time. You know I'm a visual learner and there's not a lot of visuals to some of these tutorials. I learned a lot by doing and if that doesn't qualify me I don't know what does. I intend to follow this video up with a decent amount of tutorials to help you get set up and start mapping for Half-Life. Maybe this will get more people into making some cool shit. That would be pretty cool. Half-Life Alex's mapping tools just came out and a lot of people are hopping onto that bandwagon right now. Big guy, big guy. But hey. A lot of you don't have VR headsets, so why not map for Half-Life 1? It's always going to be here for you. And so am I.